All right, girls, I'm running to the store. Be good. Don't forget, the nanny is watching. Uh-oh, we got a barking alert and the dogs are active. We better check in. <coughs> We can actually check on all of their activities with the Furbo Nanny. Barking, dog activity, person, and dog selfie alerts. Let's check the doggy diary and see what you were up to. Thanks Furbo Nanny for keeping an eye on our dogs. So as you guys can see, Memphis has pretty much figured out that the noise means treats are coming out of that Furbo. <laughs> so I wanted to take a quick second and show you guys some of the things that the new Furbo Dog Nanny feature can do. They now have cloud recording and you can actually go through and you can see all of the activity that has happened, the barking, the dog activity, a person alert, dog selfies. There's a whole bunch of different things you can actually check with the Furbo Nanny, which is kind of neat. So if you're not home and suddenly there's a person detected in your house, you'll get a notification. Or if your dogs start barking, you'll get a notification. And if they're barking, you can turn on your Furbo, you can talk to them. It has two-way audio, so you can talk to them and they can also hear you as well. You can calm them down, you can toss them a treat. I really do love it. I love it. Our dogs don't bark a whole lot when we're gone. So when they do, we usually know that means something. Either the mailman was here, or maybe the UPS guy, or maybe somebody tried to come and visit. <laughs> so it's kind of a nice feature to have. So some of you may have questions about the Furbo. If you do, leave them down below and I'll try to answer as many as I can. A question we get asked a lot, because a lot of people know we have a Furbo, is where do you put it? My suggestion would be you don't want to put it like down on the ground too much. I currently have mine right here, just above, you know, eye level of the dogs. But I have also had it way up here on this shelf as well, which worked really good as well. It has a very wide angle camera view, as you guys saw earlier. So it pretty much sees our whole living room. I liked this vantage point a little bit better just for the dog selfie mode, because like right now it's going to probably pick up that Shelby's doing a selfie. <laughs> when we had it up a little bit higher, it didn't pick that up as much. So. Another fun thing to consider is your dogs may want to try to tip this over. These 3M sticky things are your friend when that happens. You can just put one on the bottom and stick it there. This lid stays on pretty good. So even if they did tip it over, the lid's going to stay on pretty good. But if you really want to be sure, just use a 3M sticky and that thing ain't going to move at all. Maybe some Velcro strips. That'll just keep it in place if you have it where the dogs can actually reach it. So as we said earlier, the Furbo does come with some of its own treats, but you can also use your own treats as well. You just wanna make sure you're using like little training treats. So like these little types of treats fit best. These were actually the treats that I had in the Furbo right now. These ones are a little small, so it may fit, spit out more than one, which is okay. You can also actually use dog kibble. I've used it before and it works really well. And you can see down inside the Furbo when we take off the lid, that is the max fill line for treats. That's the little thing that pushes the treats up and then flings them out the front. So you can see the smallest treats are gonna work the best. Memphis is already ready for more treats to come out. Are you ready for more treats? How about you? <laughs> so there you have it, you guys. That is our short little review video on the Furbo. As I said in the beginning of this video, there will be some links down in the video description below where you can get your own Furbo. It is currently on sale, so run and get one now. Let us know down in the comments below if you have one, what do you love about it, or if you're gonna get one, and why are you gonna get one? We wanna know. I have it, like I said, I love the, the barking alert is my favorite thing. The doggy diary is pretty cute as well, but the barking alert is by far my favorite thing. I mean, besides the fact that it has the two-way talking and I can throw treats for my dogs when I'm not here, the barking alert, I think, helps me out the most. All right, you guys, that is all we have for you today. As always, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive, dream big, and we will see you again soon. Are you waiting for more treats? She's like, just, just one more, just one more, just, just one more, just one more. 
No, you've had enough treats. You have. I'm not doing it again. You gotta wait. You gotta wait till I leave the house. Then I'll throw treats at you. <laughs> uh, goodbye, guys.